What is up YouTube? Carla here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And if you watched the previous episode, sometimes even food. <laughs> for this episode, guys, we're going to go back to sneakers. And I'm going to unbox and review for you this excellent, amazing, stupendous, add all of the really nice adjectives, sneaker that set me back for just less than $100 or less than 5,000 pesos. Let's go! If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are going to announce the mechanics of our giveaway for this Realme 3 smartphone sometime this week. I'm still finalizing the mechanics. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Make sure that you hit the notification bell. And make sure that you watch all the videos so you can see when the actual mechanics are out. Take note that spamming all of my videos with you begging for this does not count. It doesn't count. So don't do it, okay? Now, before we get to the unboxing and review of that sneaker, I just want to quickly talk about Game of Thrones. This, of course, is the Adidas Game of Thrones Ultra Boost, which is pretty expensive and out of reach of a lot of people, especially here in the Philippines. Sells for a little over, I think, 8,900 pesos when it debuted. And this particular sneaker, the House Targaryens, the Targaryens Dragon sneaker, is selling for well over 12, 13,000 pesos. Now, here's the good news. If you want Game of Thrones on your feet, I have the best deal for you guys. This just sells for a little over 1,300 pesos and they are actually flip-flops. It's a collaboration between Havianas and Game of Thrones. So they actually have three designs, all of which I will show to you guys today. This small one over here is for the wife and this one actually features the map of Westeros. So you have the different parts of different countries and the different areas of Westeros printed on the actual I was about to say sneakers, uh, slippers, or flip-flops. You also have, the, the other two are my size, this one in gray, which shows, which shows the Iron Throne on the left side and a close-up of the different swords of the Iron Throne on the other side. And we also have one more design, which features the, the sigils of House Stark and House Targaryen, so fire and ice. So you have the wolf over here, and you have the three dragons over here on the right side and it also says fire and blood and the other part says winter is coming so again all three designs are already available at Havianas here in the philippines they sell for a little over 1300 pesos this is not an ad i chanced upon it i bought it and i just wanted to share with you guys let's get to the unboxing so this is actually the nike m2k techno in a new colorway sells for a little less than 5,000 pesos or a little less than a hundred dollars here in the philippines and it comes in your typical red and white nike box if you pop this open you get you get straight to the shoe guys nothing too fancy no special tissue paper it's just the sneaker and as you guys can see it's your typical m2k techno shoe takes its inspiration from the original chunky sneaker dad shoe which is of course the nike air monarch it's just given a more chunky vibe a more streetwear kind of vibe and updated colors so as you guys can see this one packs a bunch of them you have that loud swoosh over here on the lateral in the middle side with yellow outlined in that blazing red color it is of course offset and contrasted perfectly with the olive dark green color that composes most of the upper of the shoe and then you have swatches of leather in dark blue that scatter along the different sides of the shoe you also have that really nice embroidered red swoosh both again on the lateral and the middle side of the sneaker and you have another nice looking swoosh over here near the laces of the shoe now, you have a very well-padded tongue and well-padded collar, so it does give you that amazing support for your ankle as you are walking, as you are moving around. And that's where I think I would like to focus the next few moments of the review. Usually, when it comes to dad shoes and chunky sneakers, they are uncomfortable, especially if you're talking about sneakers that sell for less than $100. That's not the case with the M2K Techno, guys. This is one of the most underrated sneakers under $100, especially when you talk about chunky shoes 
or dad sneakers. They are ridiculously stylish. They are ridiculously amazing to wear. The comfort that you get from them, especially the cushioning near the heel part, even in the midfoot part, is really, really good. It's also not heavy, which is usually the case with a lot of dad shoes and chunky sneakers like this one. So it ticks all the boxes. It ticks the box on style. It ticks the box on color and overall pop. It ticks the color, it ticks the box on the uniqueness, because not a lot of people will rock this. And lastly, affordability and overall comfort. And that's the reason why I think this is one of the best shoes that you guys can cop if you just have a budget of 5,000 pesos or $100. Also, it is the right balance of hype and what do you call this like practicalness and value because usually if you buy like the really loud chunky sneakers of course like the yeezys and you know the all the other off-white stuff out there it can be a little bit too loud and overwhelming and can probably scream i'm wearing a yeezy or i'm wearing off-white this one is just right i mean it's hype it looks cool and not a lot of people will wear it but at the same time it won't break the back i caught this pair from commonwealth over at greenbelt 5 and what about this? Let me know if you guys want to see a video where I take like 5,000 pesos and see what are the available sneakers over at Commonwealth. Because I think they have this rep of only selling like super expensive stuff. And I actually was going around the store and I saw a lot of items below 5,000 or near 5,000 that are pretty good. So let me know if you guys want to see that video down in the comments section. So that's actually it for this quick vlog. We did Game of Thrones flip-flops and we did one of the best sneakers, I think, chunky sneakers that you guys can get for under $100. That's it for now. Peace, God bless. Oh, and I pray that all of you are safe and your loved ones were safe from the earthquake that recently hit here, uh, well, the Philippines. Uh, and let's send out prayers as well for those who were affected, especially those who lost loved ones uh, down in Pampanga. Definitely not a good time to joke about earthquake, guys, especially on Twitter. Uh, so let, let's try to respect what happened because people did suffer and people did, uh, well, some of them really did die. So let's be sensitive to that and let's just be aware that that happened when you tweet or when you post. So that's it for now, guys. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.